confused about the Ethernet situation on your Google Wi-Fi and what the benefits are? Well, I'll be explaining everything in detail, so stay tuned. Welcome to Blink Blink, let's get started. The Nest Wi-Fi router has two Ethernet ports neatly placed on both sides of the power jack. Now, two ports might seem a bit underwhelming considering modern routers are typically equipped with multiple Ethernet options. Also, it doesn't help that of the two Ethernet ports available, the one marked with the globe indicator is strictly intended to be connected to your modem. So, you're left with only a single Ethernet port for a hardwired connection. The Wi-Fi itself is decently advanced, supporting Wi-Fi 5, which is plenty fast enough for most of your personal tasks. Also, you can always connect an Ethernet splitter to hardware multiple devices at once to your single Ethernet port, albeit at the cost of internet speeds. Looking at some speed stats that I connected when comparing the Ethernet connection to its Wi-Fi counterpart, I was quite surprised. Just like I am right now, realizing that you are yet to click the subscribe button. So do subscribe as we have plenty of content coming up. I tested using my 500 Mbps home connection and I got surprisingly close results on both Wi-Fi and Ethernet. Sure, Ethernet will be more stable thanks to its wired nature and wireless connections tend to drop speeds the further you get away from it. But that's where my next point comes into play ensuring that I always have optimal link speeds. A casual fact to note is that connectivity to and from nest points is operated wirelessly and does not have any Ethernet port to hardwire the nest point to your nest router. I would still recommend connecting via Ethernet for devices that require a solid and stable internet connection like for your gaming needs. You can check your internet speeds directly from your Google Home app by going into the Wi-Fi devices option and tapping on Test Network. All in all, if you're interested in getting a mesh Wi-Fi network for covering a large area and you mainly intend to connect devices wirelessly, then a Google Nest Wi-Fi with its companion points will be a hard choice to beat. I hope all your doubts about your Google Wi-Fi router's Ethernet ports have been cleared. I have linked a supporting article from a website blingbling.com in the description below in case you prefer an in-depth read of the topic. If you like this video, do consider subscribing to our channel for more smart home content.